Welcome to part two of my table videos. Uh, if you haven't seen the first one, I'll throw a link up here someplace so you can uh, go back and take a look at that one. Um, at this point we're going to do take it from the poor and finish up the tables and with uh, the legs and the shelf and the attachments. Um, at the end of the video I go through and kind of talk about um, what I plan on doing and some thoughts about the mass epoxy deep pour. Um, so yeah, but let's get back into continuing to build. So somewhere along the way I lost the footage of making up the table legs in the process I went with that. So I'm just going to do a quick kind of overview of that. Um, this is the first set after they're glued up. Um, so I took some the maple that I uh, milled up and it's an inch and a half by two and a half and then I built a so I just built up a quick and dirty jig to do the tapering did one side I had to adjust it once to get it to line up and then this just runs along the table saw fence and does my rip then I put a domino in to do my one tenon where the, sp the spreader is going to come in round it over the legs ran them through the, the sander and uh, clean them all up ready for glue up for the spreaders and how I'm going to put this together Got the domino here that will come into the leg, like so. And then these will be the shelves. So I laid those all out, and this will be a, a small domino that I'll just glue those in that way. So when I'm done with the project, um, there will be no mechanical fasteners. Um, it will all be dominoes and glue. Um, so yeah, so now we'll get it all glued up. Um, I built the jig to glue up um, my legs, so every one of them is uh, parallel, the bottom and the top are parallel, glued in here, and then I uh, glue all four sets up because I'm doing two tables, so I've got two sets of legs for each one, um, and then we'll set up dominoes to tend it into the bottom of the table and uh, then our shelf in there. Alright, so we're going to get back and do some glue up. So after getting all my parts laid out, domino set um, for the shelving and for the legs and the spreaders, um, built up this small jig uh, for clamping and then I would uh, be able to know, know that all f uh, four sets of legs will be identical. Uh, after getting all the legs set up, set up the uh, domino with a centering jig and the right angle to match up to the uh, legs and a centering stop and went ahead and got all those uh, board and then was able to measure off that to set my domino holes in the table. From there was just a quick glue up of the legs to the base and let them sit overnight and then come back and work on the shelving. So the next thing I did was build another small jig um, so I could set up the shelves and get a 4 millimeter cut that was the same distance from the, each end of all 8 shelves and then it would be set up as centered in there and I would just line that up. Um, so yeah, just another quick dirty jig. And then I know that I got all eight of them that are identical. So 
So one of the last steps was just gluing up the shells and uh, at this point I had um, finished sanded all of the parts uh, before they had glue up and then I just had to do a couple little touch-ups, check out um, any glue, squeeze out, clean that up, uh, but then I could just be clamped together and then, then I was ready for finish. Um, I did not do any taping of the finish. Uh, the finish I did for these was just a spray-on lacquer. Um, I believe I put five coats of clear lacquer um, just out of the spray can. Uh, wanted to give a little bit of a sheen, a little bit of harder finish. Um, so. so overall I'm really happy with the way these tables turned out. Um, I'm really happy with the mass epoxy deep pour. Uh, that was an inch and three-eighths pour uh, with a little bit of tint in it. Um, I did end up with some very, very small micro bubbles that you can hardly even see. Um, I did not use any heat during the pour uh, intentionally because I wanted to make sure and see how this was going to work on the much larger pour that I plan on doing. Um, there will be a coffee table that goes with this that will have uh, a waterfall, uh, river waterfall in that as one of the legs and that will be a considerably larger pour. Um, so this was a good uh, first test of this um, and set up the design that I'm going to do for the other one and um, hopefully soon I can get to that and uh, get that project done. So hope you enjoyed this. Maybe found something helpful out of it. Um, have a great day. We'll see you next time. Thanks.